brilliant. Hey guys, Ben Vick here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this. This is the Royal Hunter X from Council of Vapor. Now, they had a Royal Hunter RDA and it was really popular. It was well made, uh, it was easy to build on, and it looked good. Uh, and it was a big success for them not so long ago. This is the follow-up. This is the Royal Hunter X from Council of Vapor. Uh, it's got some pretty interesting stuff going on. It has both post holes and clamps. Uh, on the deck of this. Uh, it can do single coil and dual coil and it comes with these big old drip tips. It also comes in some really nice colours as well. Um, they look really cool. It has like a sleeve system to it. We will see that when we go down low. We are also looking at this. Uh, this is what is in here right now. Uh, we're looking at Coilmaster's brand new comp vape wire. Comp wire from Coilmaster. Um, what is it? It's Canthal <laughs> with a twist. It's um, 24 gauge, the, the one that we've got here, 24 gauge, uh, and it's their own composition. The alloy uh, that it's created is their own composition. It has all the ingredients of Canthal, but in a slightly different volume ratio, uh, and they say it's better for you know the big clouds that we all like to blow these days. Um, so we'll take a look at that, we'll have a go with that. Uh, I'll show it you up close. It's, 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 it's well put together, and so we'll have a little look at that, and we'll have a little think about that, as well as looking at the Royal Hunter X. I should say, right at the top of this, this came from the Vaporsupply.com. Uh, it's a website in America. Um, it's got all, uh, well, obviously it's got this. It's got loads of great stock, and uh, it's a pretty cool site. And Chase, the guy who sent this, uh, He's a really cool guy. He's very passionate. So um, the vaporsupply.com links in the description to that site. If you're in America, perfect for you. Um, Royal Hunter X. Coilmaster Compire. Let's go down and do it. All right, guys. Here we are down low with the Royal Hunter X. Firstly, though, let's just take a peek at this uh, wire. Com Compire from Coilmaster. Uh, here, this is quite good on the back. It tells you uh, what the resistance will be at so so much ga so much gauge, so much uh, wire thickness, and uh, depending on the size of your wraps, it's pretty good. So, yeah, 22 gauge, uh, six wrap, 0.28. Pretty cool that. Pretty good. Uh, so that's the that's the packaging. The actual wire looks like this. Um, pretty, just like really meaty canthal, as you'd expect. Uh, is what it looks like in terms of how it sort of uh, wraps. If we put it in here, pinch this, you know, it's uh, similar to work with as any other, like that. So, you know, so it's uh, very thick, you know, very thick gauge this, but um, yeah, it's just like working with Canthal really. Uh, putting all that to one side, we'll, we'll talk about the wire a little bit more in a second, but uh, let's get on with the Royal Hunter X. So this is the packaging, um, comes in a nice little box. Uh, it's not much in this box though, I must admit. Uh, it's just a few little uh, spare O-rings and grub screws and stuff in there. Uh, so that's the packaging. This is the Royal Hunter X. Airflow. Um, can be single or dual. You've got those three slots and uh, you can adjust it like that as well. Uh, little uh, Council of Vapor Royal Hunter logo there. Like that. And you've got this big wide bar drip tip, which has got a sort of reddy brown tinge to it, but I don't think that will come across on camera because it's incredibly subtle. Huge wide, uh, huge wide affair there. Uh, so that is that. Uh, underneath got uh, quite a protruding pin, quite a chunky pin, and uh, Council of Vapor Royal Hunter on the bottom as well. Uh, so that is that. If we attach it to a mod, like that, we can take it off and have a peek at this deck. Now, so, 
this deck very unique very different indeed so what you've got here is two clamps here and here but you've also got four post holes as well positive block negative block so um you know you can use the holes if you want if you're using round wire build if, but if you're doing a fancy alien you can use the clamps and you literally just cramp clamp down on these flathead screws uh this is the wire this is what we've been talking about uh wrapped into here a uh, beautiful little staged heating thing going on look at that look at that bit of cotton still in there but uh yeah one thing you can tell i'll let it cool it all the way down or i try to it obviously keeps its heat very well as well i don't know if that's a good or bad thing depends on your preference but uh once uh once you hit the fire that is getting very hot very quick indeed uh so there we go. Uh, that is uh, that is that. Okay, yeah. So that's the wire. It uh, is heating up really quick, really nice, um, and uh, yeah, it's working an absolute treat. We'll talk more about the wire when we go up top. Uh, what else is there to see? You've got your nice deep juice well here. Um, really, really easy to build on. It's a it's a real straight up, straight down type of uh, RDA. If we look at the uh, barrel section here. It's like a sleeve thing, so you can remove your drip tip. Oh, you can remove this bit as well. And uh, so this is effectively just a sleeve, and you can get uh, various color sleeves. And you can see now how the airflow adjusts, and that it does have a single coil option. Uh, so putting it all back together, like this. There we go. Let's go back up top. Okay guys, that was the Royal Hunter X down low and the comp vape uh, the uh, the coil master comp wire. Um very quickly on the comp wire, um I've had no problems at all. Uh no problems uh dry burning it, no problems working with it, no problems with the way it vapes. I think it does ramp up very quickly, very nicely, which is what they wanted. Um, you know, it's a thick bit of wire is that and um, you know putting the power through it, it goes straight through it Instant clouds, which is very very good. Is it is it a radical improvement to the whole of vaping? No, I wouldn't say so, but um, what it does do is it it bridges the gap if you're a stainless steel cloud chaser and you use stainless steel wire for your coils I think it does bridge that gap between the issues with using stainless steel and the issues with using canthal you know canthal when you start using really thick canthal it can it, it can affect the ramp up time and, and your issues with that and it, it can also you know the resistance might not be as low as you want for something like a mech mod um, Whereas if you use stainless steel, you get that lovely low resistance, but dry burning, it's a bit iffy. Um, and yeah, you, sometimes you can get that too quick ramp up with stainless steel. Um, and, you know, and it, it's not the per neither of those to the perfect option. Uh, so this is somewhere in between those two. So you get a lower, but not insanely low resistance. And um, you get that nice ramp up, but it dry burns really well. You know, it doesn't go all funny when you, you when you dry burn it, when you heat it up. Um, when you pulse it, you know, preparing your coils. So I actually think it's quite good. It's quite good stuff. It's not revolutionary. I wouldn't say it's revolutionary in my opinion. Um, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't say it's a complete game changer, but it's actually very solid uh, wire. So if you're a cloud chaser, especially if you're a mech user, especially if you're a stainless steel uh, RDA coil maker, then... Um, I think uh, I think it's worth a try. Definitely worth a try. If you've run out of if you've run out of wire, give it a blast. Give it a blast. So that's that. That is the comp wire from Coilmaster done. Um, the Royal Hunter. Let's get back on track. What's it like? What's it like? How's it vape and that? Okay. Um, Right, I'm going to come right at it with the positives and negatives. Always the easiest way to go. The positives and negatives of this. Um, the positives. No, the negatives. Let's do the negatives. Let's just get the negatives out of the way. Okay, wide bore drip tip. Big wide bore drip tip. That's nice and that, but uh, it doesn't 
it's not goon size. It's not goon fitting. I think it would have been phenomenal if it had been the same size wide bore as goon drip tips. So you could put all your fancy goon drip tips in there. That feels like a no brainer to me. Uh, it's definitely something they should look at. It's also my drip tip has got a sort of, you cannot see it on camera at all, but it's got a sort of uh, reddy brown tint to it. And I don't know if that's, is that going to be the exact drip tip that you want for your mod? Are you just going to want a black one or whatever? You know, this is the only drip tip that fits on this RDA. This is the only drip tip that fits on it. Uh, there's no adapter. It, there's no adapter in my box anyway. So there's no adapter in any way. This is the drip tip. Like it or lump it. If this falls off and disappears, not, it's gone. It's gone. No drip tip option at all. Um, the other negative I would put at this is the airflow. Um, it's a 24mm RDA, so really it should be capable of, of vaping just normally, like, like I'm doing now, but also blowing huge, huge clouds, which comes means huge, huge vapor. Um, and it's not, it's not, the airflow isn't vast. It is not vast. It really isn't vast. Um, it's the same on, t same on both sides, it's that big judge for yourself. It's not small by any means, don't get me wrong, and it is adjustable, which is great, but it's not massive, is it, compared to some of the cloudy cloudy 24mm RDAs out there. Um, so that's a thing, that's a thing. Uh, again, your choice, your choice. Um, positives though, positives though. Uh, the O-rings are phenomenal, perfect amount of tension on these, uh, and I really like that, and for me that's a really big thing on RDAs. Uh, you know, you've got to get those O-rings right. I really like the sleeve thing, I think that's really good. I think the other sleeves look ace. Truly look great. The other colours look so cool. Really cool. I think I've shown you a picture of that already. Um, but the other colours, yeah, I really like the other colours. really like the sleeve design, the sleeve idea. I really like that you can do single or dual coil in here. And I really like the idea that you can use the post holes or the clamps. Everybody's different, aren't they? Fancy, fancy wires, your aliens and all that stuff. You're going to want to use the clamps. But if you're just doing a round wire build like this, stick it in the holes. Easy as you like. No problems there at all. I think that's clever. I think that's good. Nice idea. Um, looks wise, obviously very subjective. I think the coloured sleeves look better than this. Um, there's a lot going on in terms of engraving and etching and what have you on here. Uh, you know, it's not vulgar, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a busy, it's a busy looking uh, RDA compared to their original, which was a very sleek, very professional looking RDA. Um, I don't know. I don't know. So that's the thing. Uh, nice uh, juice, nice juice well, uh, good flavour. It's actually quite short, it's actually quite stout. I know that's hard to get across on camera, uh, but it's actually quite reduced, quite short. So it, it is tasty, it's, it's a nice vape. It's not the quietest, but let's face it, these things never are. Um, and what I would say is the airflow is super smooth. You know, it's attacking the coil straight on, going straight up your mouth hole, and uh, happy days, happy days. Uh, it's a very nice vape, it's a very solid RDA, couple of negatives to think about, but uh, overall very good indeed. So get along to uh, thevaporsupply.com. Uh, they will ship worldwide, but really it's better if you're in America, if you guys are in America checking this out. Uh, so get on top of that. I've been Vic, and I'll see you again soon.